the sine rule, finding a side length. Now we have to find the value of x here. So setting up the sine rule, we know that angle B is 60 degrees, angle C is 45, and little c across here is 4. So that means that we can say that little b over the sine of b equals c over the sine of c. Now putting those in, we know that b is x, so x over the sine of 60 is equal to 4 over the sine of 45. Multiplying both sides by the sine of 60, we get x equals 4 sine 60 over the sine of 45. Now using the exact values, we get 4 times root 3 over 2 divided by the sine of 45 is 1 and root 2. And this becomes 2 root 3 times root 2, which is 2 root 6 units. Now this one's a bit different because we've got nothing across the other side from the 105, so we can't use this angle here. But we know the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can easily work out that that will be 180 minus the sum of these two, 30 plus 105, and that gives me that actually is 45 degrees sitting up there. Right, so we know that little c is equal to 45 degrees, or angle c, sorry, angle c is 45 degrees. Little, little c is the y. So we can set that up. We can say c over sine c is equal to a over the sine of a. Little c is y. So y over the sine of 45 is equal to 3 over the sine of 30. So multiplying both sides by the sine of 45, we get that y equals 3 sine 45 over the sine of 30. So y equals 3 times 1 on root 2 divided by the sine of 30, which is a half. Now inverting and multiplying, that becomes y equals 6 over the square root of 2. But that's rather unpleasant. So what we'll do, we'll rationalize and write this root 2 on root 2. And that becomes 6 root 2 on 2. And 2 under 6 goes 3. So that is 3 root 2 units. OK. So that is finding the side length using the sine rule. The next video we'll be finding angles and we'll have to use the ambiguous case which is quite tricky. Thanks for watching.